good. This your boy Jonathan from the City New York, man. We out here in the city, and I finally got to link up with the trendsetter. Uh, Kiki showed her everything. Uh, <laughs> you know, Moji. Yes. Tell us where you from, Brooklyn Queen. Tell us, tell us where you from. Well, my name is Brooklyn Queen. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Cool, cool. And music. How did you get started with music? Music was a natural connection for me. Ever since I could walk, I would dance. Ever since I could talk, I would rap. Well, not rap, sing other people's songs. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. And um, so your first single, uh, Kiki taught you how to do it. Yes. Who's Kiki? How did she teach you? Well, Kiki is a made up character, but it's like, you know how Beyonce has Sasha Fierce? Gotcha. It's like a Kiki. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. And then um, just like, the dancing part with it, like, you know, I see that, you know, you got all types of moves in it. Um, was that, like, just, like, a part of, like, what you wanted to do with the song, or you just figured, like, you know, just add all these dances to the song? Well, I like dancing to party music, gotcha. or, you know, everybody has that one dance song. Mm -hmm. So, I like dancing and stuff like that, so I wanted to make a song to what I like to do. Cool. And I see your label mate, Q9, shout yes. out to Q9. Uh, you guys got a couple videos out there. Yes. How how is the chemistry like? How do you guys find time to just get in the studio and do it songs? Well, we both live in Detroit, so that's easy. Um, we're like thirty minutes away from each other, so if I call them like you want to go in the studio and make a song, then it's just right there. Cool, cool. And y'all guys do that often, or it's just like whenever you feel like, oh, we got a dope beat, let me run it by him. I want him to be featured, stuff like that. Um, we only made like three or two songs together. Um, we don't so that's how we don't do it often because I'm on promo tour right now. So it's kinda hard for me to make a song with him gotcha. if I'm in New York and he's in Detroit. Okay. So cool, cool. And so emoji your latest single. Um how'd you come up with it? Emoji. Do you use emojis? Sometimes. iPhone or Android team? iPhone. Okay. Good job. <laughs> you choose the right emojis. Okay, so Basically, emoji came because everybody I know uses emojis, and nobody has a song about emojis, so one of a kind. Cool, cool. And then, like, the interpretation of how you use your emojis, you know, like, if, you know, you feel happy, you know, you use certain ones, or it's just like, you know, because I'm listening to the song, and it's just like, you know, you can send me an emoji, so it's just like, was it more than emojis going on, or it's just like, the reference is great with, you know, the song. Um, it's just the song about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I use, I don't use emojis when I'm happy or anything. I don't use, like, the smiley face when I'm happy or the sad face when I'm sad. I kind of use, like, the same emojis, like, every day. So, okay. whichever one is the third one, that's the one you always like, or the first top three or whatever? Um, look, they're all in my recents. Like, you know how you have the gotcha. recents yep. in the front? So, it was, like, the rocket, the hard eyes. The exclamation point. Like so those are your top, that's like part of your top five? Yes. And um, dancing, you ever, as growing up, you know, and we still got a lot more growing to do, but as growing up, uh, did you ever like find yourself like doing dance battles and stuff like that? Or just, you know, just like dance parties, contact, like competing with other people dancing? Yes, but I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Like what happened? Just more music is more important? Yes. Than you're not going to get anywhere with just sticking to dancing. Well, you might get somewhere, right. but everybody is not going to, like, want a dancer. You always got to have, like, a plan B to do. So my plan B was to do music. Well, you could be like Chris Brown. But he's Chris Brown. You just <laughs> he dances, he flips, and sings at the can, same time. I don't yeah, know. How I can still it. dance and do all that at the same time, but I'm just not, not going to stick as a dancer. Gotcha. Okay, cool. And um, other than just music, do you see yourself like getting into other things? I don't know, like acting or yes. stuff like that. Um, I like acting. I'm gonna be on TV. I really like acting. Yeah. Mostly, if you see like on my videos, yeah. there's an acting part in it. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. And um, your project. Uh, since you said August, right? So how many songs is like featured on it? On my album. Yeah. There's ten songs featured on my album. Cool, cool, cool. And all of them is either feature with people or it's just only mostly you? One song is a feature, but that's with Q9. Cool, cool, cool. And then do you see yourself 
probably like you know in the future linking up with I think her name is Nia K or something like that. Like any of those other artists that's young around like your age. Um, uh, do I see myself featuring with them? Well. Or is there anyone you would like to be, you know, featured with or uh, on one of your songs? Yes. Do that be a kid? Don't have to. <laughs> um, I'm on Beyonce. It's my number one. Beyonce? Beyonce. Kind of up there. No, because in a minute, I'm not going to want to meet Beyonce. She's going to want to meet me. Oh, okay. So. Like I feel <laughs> Yeah. Like so, it. um, I like. Um, Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller. And it would be more, instead of like, because I know most of your songs is more like an up-tempo, but you would probably do like an R&B type track with him, or? Or he can get on one of my up-tempo songs. It sounds like a fair track right there. Yeah. Cool. And then um, anything else you got going on as far as, you know, you know, any being on tour, anything else you got going on, special events in any cities and stuff like yes. that? Yes. In Fort Worth, Indiana, I am performing at a Halloween party, and that's on October 28th. And then, the day after that, there's one in Kentucky, and it's actually my Halloween party, and that is October 29th. Cool, cool, cool. So, once again, give them the information where they can find you, follow you, where they can download your album at. You guys can follow me on Instagram at BrooklynQueen03, B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N-Q-U-E-E-N-03. -E also, you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Queen. One more thing I want to tell you. I have a three acts of kindness challenge. Okay. And you you're gonna do it, right? I mean we could do that. Okay, so you gotta do it. So what you do is you record yourself doing three acts of kindness. So that could be holding the door open for someone, giving a homeless person some food, something kind. Okay, cool. It gotta be something kind though. Okay? okay. And then if you post it on your Instagram and tag me in it, I'll repost you. But you guys should just be doing it just to be kind, not just to get repost. You hear that? So tell tell them one more time what is it that they're supposed to do? So it's Brooklyn Queen's Three Acts of Kindness Challenge. Record yourself doing three acts of kindness, post it on Instagram, and tag me in it. Cool, cool, all right. And it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Thanks Hopefully, you know, you can come back around, probably perform out here, never know. All right? Yes, thank you. Jonathan, if you want to sing, yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Brooklyn Queen, and I want to let you guys know, my album, Queen's Corner, is out on all digital platforms, and I'm rocking out with OMC in New York. Peace.